Hello and welcome back to another short video tutorial on PaintShop Pro Photo X3. Today I'd like to show you two features that helped me when I took some photos at a recent convention, namely Fill Flash and Digital Camera Noise Removal. Fill Flash helps brighten up dark areas in a photo without doing a full-on brighten effect. The term noise in the Digital Camera Noise Removal tool refers to small specks of color that interfere with image clarity. These specks are usually caused by poor lighting conditions or the limitations of the sensor in a digital camera. Let's see how we can use these two tools to fix these issues on a couple of photos I took indoors at the CES convention. I'll start with Fill Flash. Here is the photo in question. The lighting was low because the show hadn't opened for the day yet and not all the lights were on. Now you might think, well, just brighten it up. Okay, well, let's try that. I'll go to Adjust, Brightness and Contrast, Brightness, Contrast. And, well, you can see what the brightness has already done. I mean, there's zero. That's where the original photograph bumped up just a little bit, and it just gets hazy. So it really is not the right tool to use. So I'll cancel that. And instead, go to Adjust, Fill Flash. Now, you can see what this has already done. If I bring it all the way down, that was the original. It's a vast improvement, if I do say so myself. A little too much, perhaps. Okay, so I'm going to stick with that one and click OK. Let me undo and redo so you can see the difference. Before, after, much better. This next one is suffering some noise inherent with digital cameras. It's more noticeable if I zoom in. See the specks, kind of snowy effect there? That's what I'm talking about. Let's go to Adjust Digital Camera Noise Removal. Now the small, medium, and large specks, of course, refer to the size of the specks. And basically it's very hard to tell the difference, so I'm going to keep it locked. And I think I'll keep the adjustment around halfway point and see what that looks like. Correction blend refers to what degree the corrected image will be blended in with the original. And of course, sharpening is rather obvious. It sharpens the image. Just remember that sometimes sharpening will contribute to digital camera noise, or regular noise for that matter. So I'll set the noise correction to about 50, leaving the rest where they are. And it has to go through a slight rendering process. As you can see down here in the bottom, it's going through that. So we'll wait. Okay, that's actually a vast improvement. I could go a little higher, but sometimes going higher makes the, uh, the whole image look soft. So I think I'll just click OK this way. So again, let me undo and redo. So notice the large amount of snow here. If I redo it, it's much better, especially, of course, now if I go to regular size. I'll undo it again. If you look, guys, it's probably going to be hard to tell in this particular video. All right, so maybe you weren't so convinced by the last car example. You really did kind of have to look pretty close to see the digital noise in there. But how about this one? This one's pretty obvious. Let's take a look. Adjust digital camera noise removal. And let's turn this up to where the car was, about 50 or so. And let her rip. But notice what's doing here. It's actually locating the light colors the mid-range and the darkest color areas of the image and using that as a basis to fix the errors. Click OK and there you go. Now that's a pretty obvious improvement. Undo, redo. Alright, so there you go. Alright, now it's time for you to try it yourself. Have some fun and we'll see you in the next video tutorial. Bye-bye.